Hello YouTube, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another sequel prequel month. And I know this is early because you can see the sun right behind me. And uh, I'm in the living room instead of in my room. And uh, this is a sequel from 2013 that was one of the highest grossing films of that year. I thought it was hilarious. I know a lot of people thought that it was lame. You know, it wasn't as good as the first one. I think it's better. And it's definitely the best one I've seen so far. Despicable Me 2. Yes, an animated movie that made me laugh my ass off. I saw this in the theater several times during the summer of 2013, and I was just in stitches. I mean, the summer of 2013 I thought was better than this year, because at least that year we had this. I, I personally liked Iron Man 3. I liked um, uh, a couple of other films that came out. Uh, it was a lot better. I mean, there were some duds. I didn't care for Lone Ranger. I didn't like Man of Steel, personally, but... Uh, I also liked uh, White House Down. That was another film I thought it was a good summer movie, even though it flopped. It's a lot better than uh, Independence Day 2. But anyway, this is about Despicable Me 2. This is a funny movie, uh, kids film. Uh, the cast came back from the first film, most of them, except for Jason Segel and, and uh, Julie Andrews, because they weren't available. And uh, I think it's funny. Like The minions crack me up every time I watch them. People are like, oh, they're tired of them. I think they're adorable. They just, you know, hit the, the slapstick they do and their language just cracks me up. You know, uh, just, you know, the, the antics just, it's a lot. It reminds me of the cartoons when I used to watch it in the 80s and the 90s. And they're fun. They're cor they're corn pops with little eyes. And they, they make the movies a lot. Of, you know, they have some of the most comedic moments in the movie. Uh, I love uh, Steve Carell as the voice of Gru. The little girls are very cute. Uh, Margot, e Edith, and Agnes. I think they're, uh, you know likable characters and of course the one that steals the show for me because uh, no it's not uh, Benjamin Brad as the villain I thought he was decent considering it was a sub in for Al Pacino is Kristen Wiig yes she actually did a good movie back in the summer of 2013 I'm like I can forgive her for Femme Busters because she did this and I just love that woman's voice I know I know I know I love her voice like I can listen to that woman recite poetry for three hours and I'll be like ugh She's just got a voice. If it was a milkshake, I would drink it up. She's just got a very sexy feminine voice. She's a very funny in the movie, has a lot of energy. Uh, her name is Lucy in the, in the movie. She has a big nose, but she's so animated that she just, you know, becomes a character onto herself. And she's having fun. You know, she, she just is a great voice actress. I can say that without question. And she brings a lot of life to this performance. And, uh, you know, she was in the first movie as Miss Hattie, the uh, southern fat lady that was in the adoption uh, agency. But, uh, you know, here they gave her a bigger part and she ran with it. I know she's not going to be in three, but hopefully it's good because, you know, a lot of sequels have been really, really lame lately. But this was a funny movie. The spy angle worked for me, you know, that uh, Gru becomes a spy and, uh, you know, to spy on who's uh, stealing this uh, purple formula that makes animals really vicious and uh, it makes the minions evil later on and they turn purple and they have teeth like this and they go bah! and all that it's just it just cracks me up this movie's so funny like i saw this in the theater so many times and i laughed every time the audience was just ha like on the floor the ending of this movie i was in stitches when i saw that i i'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't seen it but it is hilarious like that song i was like oh my god <laughs> actually did this i was laughing louder than the kids in the theater because it was so funny see it's a comedy animated that acts actually funny unlike femme busters it didn't have stupid fart jokes and and queef jokes and things like that it didn't need that this movie was generally funny for kids and for adults and i saw minions i thought minions was pretty decent for what it was a lot of people didn't like that movie but i think this one's the best one this is the blu-ray uh dvd I already got the digital copy. I think I threw it away but because uh, that was before I got my laptop. But this is a funny movie. This is a fun kids film. And if you haven't seen it, give it a chance. Don't listen to the critics. They're like, oh, it's just a stupid movie. It's just, it's unintelligent. It's making our kids dumb. No. The Minions just, it, they steal the film. They're they're hilarious. They give some of the best comedy in the film. Just I was laughing my ass off, especially at the end. I was like, wow. They actually spoofed that song. And I know that song very well. And just I was on the floor. And they're just they they they're just they're fun characters. People say, oh, they're annoying. They're supposed to make noises. Kids like noises and craziness. Like if you've seen Adventure Time, you can I can tell you that for that much. That's just noise and an acid trip of a cartoon. But 
this is fun. Watch it with your kids. They're going to have a good time. This and Minions are pretty funny movies. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the target audience is kids, but also adults will get some chuckles out of it, too. I know I did. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed Despicable Me, too. I think it's a very fun sequel. It's definitely not as bad as some of the sequels that came out this year. That's for sure. And it knows what it is. You know, the Minions are fun characters for kids, and I'm glad they were made. A lot of people are like, oh, they're the worst things ever. But I'm like, no, I think they're cute. If you put corn pops with eyes, they go, mocha. It, it just it makes me laugh. And just I have a T-shirt of them, you know, just because they're, they're, they're fun. And yellow is the perfect color for them. So anyway, that's my two cents on Despicable Me 2. I know I haven't reviewed the first one, but I will if I do like an animated month or movies from the 2010 so far. I'll probably do that in 2017. <sighs> excuse me, I just I got up like two hours ago, so excuse me for being a little bit tired. It's been a rough week for me. But anyway, I like this big only too. It's fun. But So thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, watching my videos. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one.